And this is new at 10 tonight. Members of the community are raising awareness about the ongoing protests in Iran. And one discussion at BSU today was aimed at helping more people learn about the causes behind the Women Life Freedom Movement. The discussion ended just about two hours ago and News Channel 7's Jude Binkley was there. Jude, walk us through that moment, movement. Sure, there's a local group in Boise that puts together these events around the movement in Iran. And tonight, they wanted to bring people together to all have a discussion about the political science and historical aspects of what's been going on in Iran. Now, this discussion comes after months of protests that were sparked after the death of 22-year-old Masha Amini last September. Those protests have been happening across the world and here in Boise. They've been to raise awareness of the persecution of women in Iran and try to bring democratic change to the country. There were four professors and scholars at tonight's discussion, two of them associated with BSU. Organizers of the event wanted a conversation going to get more voices in the movement and raise awareness. Arvind Farid is an Iranian-American and one of the organizers of the discussion. He says there's been a lot of disagreement and people voicing different opinions about what should be done. So they wanted to start a civil conversation to help people learn, discuss, and tolerate each other's opinions to help lead a successful movement. Have two groups of panelists from to, to share the historical point of view and the political science predictions and, and, and analysis and, and shed light on the recent events, history, connection between U.S. and Iran and why Americans should care or why the government of the U.S. should do something or not and how can we help this movement succeed or how, how can we at least agree on how to help this cause. They also hope that by starting a discussion tonight at BSU's campus and on Zoom, that the conversations trickle down and keep this discussion going with many others. The four academics discussed a lot of different things, like the history of Iran, cycles of government, cultural values versus political views, women's empowerment, oil and government corruption, and democratic movements. This panel happened at Boise State, but organizers tell me there were people there from all over the community who attended. Uh, Americans, Iranians, young, old, a lot of different people coming together to have this discussion. And this is one of many events that have happened here locally since the re recent wave of Iran protests last fall. All right. Thanks, Jude, for sharing that with us.